everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining twin chargers. Now twin charger is basically the best of both worlds. A lot of people say what's better, a turbocharger or a supercharger? Well with a twin charger you're actually using both on the same engine. Now there are benefits of turbochargers and superchargers and if you haven't already checked out my playlist on forced induction that's probably the best place to start and learn about these. Um, but basically, turbochargers are great for a certain RPM range, and typically you're going to want to delay that until later RPMs uh, so that you can maximize your boost at high RPM. Whereas superchargers, since they're driven by the engine, they have great boost at lower RPMs uh, and across a, a, a rev range. The bad thing about superchargers is they take energy away from your engine. So if you could use a turbocharger instead of a supercharger when it can provide boost, it'd be a benefit. So basically what we've got going on here is, here's our engine. Here's our intake. Uh, it can either channel to the supercharger directly or channel to a turbocharger. And there's a bypass valve here uh, which can open or close. And then we've got our exhaust manifold that feeds directly to the turbo uh, and then out the exhaust. So let's take, let's just kind of go through the rev range. So first we're going to start with low RPM. So when you're at low RPMs, most of the boost is going to be created by the supercharger. So what you're going to do is you're going to have this bypass valve closed. That air is going to come in, it's going to go through the supercharger, which is going to compress it, create boost. It'll then go through the turbocharger, which may do a little bit, but probably not that much. Then go through an intercooler and into the engine, out the exhaust, uh, through... Now, because this turbocharger is a larger turbocharger, this isn't enough exhaust to really spool it up, so it's not going to be doing too much work here. And then it'll just simply feed out the muffler. So now let's look at what happens at your mid-RPMs. So basically here, you're going to have your bypass valve start to open up. And once that happens, it's going to allow some of the air to bypass the supercharger um, and go directly to the turbocharger. Now at your mid-RPMs, you're going to be having more exhaust created because you're burning more fuel, uh, and so your turbo is going to start to spool up. So as that turbo starts to spool up, it'll be creating uh, some boost. So basically the task is going to be shared between the turbo and the supercharger, and they're both going to be basically putting in about an equal amount of boost, um, but not their full capacity of either one. The, tur the supercharger isn't get providing its full boost, and the turbocharger doesn't yet have enough exhaust gas to provide full boost. Okay, so now let's look at the final stage where we get into our higher RPMs. So once we get into our really high RPMs, that bypass valve is going to be fully open. And once that's fully open, this clutch here is going to disconnect the supercharger from the engine. Uh, this this is basically going to be an electromagnetic clutch here that will just deactivate and then your supercharger is no longer being spun by the engine thus you're saving that energy, you're not wasting energy spinning a supercharger. So your air is going to come in, bypass that supercharger, go directly to the turbo, go inside and then burn, you're going to come out, you have your exhaust and you're going to have a lot of exhaust gas because you're at these high RPMs so it's going to be enough to spool up this turbo all the way and provide maximum boost. So all of the boost is going to come directly from the turbocharger at the higher RPMs. So what is this going to look like overall? Well, basically here's our curve of boost in our RPM. So as the engine begins to spin up, the supercharger takes over and provides this boost here. Then the supercharger starts doing less of the work as the bypass valve opens, but combined with the turbocharger, you still have that high peak boost. And then once the supercharger is disconnected fully and the bypass valve is fully open, and you've got enough gas to spool out the turbo, you can continue that peak boost. So instead of one or the other, you get the best of both worlds, supercharger and a turbocharger. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below.